Hey everyone, this is Mel from Cardstock Concoctions. I am back today bringing you guys a mini album that I made. This mini album is a ringed, an O-ring binder mini album. First time I have ever done an uh, O-ring bind, o bound mini album. Um, so, I wanted to bring this to you guys. The paper I used is from um, an SEI um, outlet kit. And I'm sorry, I don't know the name of the kit, guys. But it was gorgeous and it was beautiful. The kit included the paper, um, some ribbons, some embellishments, some tags. Um, I'll point them out as we go. So, I inked out all the edges in Stampin' Up's Black Archival ink. I think this is a wonderful ink. Um, it's very rich, very dark, very beautiful. So, I wanted to keep the front cover and the back cover very, very plain and simple. Um, I just love this paper. It was a gorgeous green, dark green, and on top of it, there's like a little bit of a treatment, and there's like some floral releases on it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I did punch a couple of holes into the, my chipboard cover with my crocodile big bite and add some eyelets to string th or to thread through the O-rings. So that's the basics. Um, the album does the album cover measures eight inches by eight inches square. The, I'm going to open this up for you guys. And I left the inner cover plain and simple. Um, if they wanted to do one large photo, multiple photos, uh, I wanted to leave that up to who I gave this to. So I did leave it up, uh, nice and simple. Now this inside paper is treated as well, um, almost with that same color, but it's got a, like a gray um, foil almost into it. So I wanted to have that there. So now my pages measure the entire page from here to here measures seven by seven square. However, the real true usable space is six inches by seven inches. So I wanted to be able to fit a four by six photo on here um, or a five by seven photo on here. Uh, however, most of this is made for four by fours, four by sixes, and three by fours. However, a six by six would also fit as well. I know those are in the new range. Each page is made slightly different, however the bindings are all made the same. I did take um, my base of my page and I reinforced my spine. I took a one inch reinforcement piece here. So there's three or four layers, uh, one, two, three layers of cardstock um, here holding my binding together. So alright, enough about the basic construction. You guys don't want to hear that. You guys want to see the pretty paper and pages. So let's go ahead and get started. So this page is actually a pocket page and it pulls out. And this is my first insert. I just loved this paper here. It's got a little bit of a treatment on it as well. Uh, these little enamel dots as well as the ribbon are Stampin' Up. Uh, they are Stampin' Up's Mossy Meadow. Now the enamel dots and the ribbon have been retired as well as the color has been retired. And so I was like, you know what? I really like it. I'm going to use it. And it fit perfectly with that green. That's the front and this is the back. Now I made the back match the papers. One, I had the scraps and the scraps fit beautifully together. Um, I added this ribbon to kind of break up the monotony so it didn't 100% uh, match these as well. But I really like this foil paper and the way that everything went together. So this coppery treated gold paper here um, went really well with this ribbon which came in the kit that I had. So I thought it was beautiful. And that just slides right in here. It's a nice large photo mat. Now each page has an insert on the side. This one is designed to fit a 4x6 photo here. And I wanted to add the accent on the top, partially because I had some extra of that paper, but partially because everybody always adds the accent on the bottom. I wanted to be different. So on the back, I added three by four photo mats. I added two of them, one horizontally and one vertically. But I also wanted to leave some room if they wanted to do some journaling as well. So we're going to go ahead and flip over the paper page, uh, paper page. So I want to go ahead and uh, accent either a photo mat space here, a couple of photos there. I used this ribbon from the kit as well and left some white space to give it a little more contemporary look. I'm going to pull this down. I'm going to show you guys the very top of the page first. So it flips up. Now the bottom of the page is out of camera range, so keep that in mind. Um, but this ribbon is the same Mossy Meadow ribbon. I just added some glue and it made it a little bit darker. These canvas tags came as part of the kit, and you can actually write in here, so I thought that was really cool. I just added two small silver brads I had in my stash, um, and I thought they went really well and it accented that really well. So you can place a photo here, and then this actually opens up as well. It's magnetized, 
Woo! Get this all the way down here in the camera range. So there's a nice space for a photo here. And then in this case here, again, I use some um, Mossy Meadow Ribbon as well as some um, Early Espresso. Mm, I know it's from Stampin' Up, but I forgot what it was called. But it's uh, Early Espresso. I want to call it like Gauzy Ribbon. Don't quote me on that, guys. <laughs> um, but I also left a nice photo spot here as well. But again, magnetized so it does close and snap shut. Down here on this paper, I added some, uh, this is some jute lace ribbon that came as part of the kit. And I just added it down there in order to give myself a little like photo space there, give it a little shelf. And this is up so you can slide the photo, just a little tuck it right underneath there. Um, and I just thought that was a great way to add a little bit of pizzazz to your album without having, having to add all the extra stuff, but making sure that your photo stood out. So I really liked that idea. Moving on to the next page here, it's another pocket page. I did not know I stuck two pocket pages next to each other. But I wanted, this is the insert, so this is the back paper. I really loved it and it went really well with that. Which this is just a leftover piece from the front cover. So in here I decided to make a nice, large, bold photo mat. Um, I designed it for a 4x4 photo, so it had a nice, big, chunky border around it. Um, this little sticker here came from the sticker sheet that was part of the collection and it is open. And up here we have a strip of the paper, and I added these safety pins. I thought that was a really nice touch. It was relatively flat, so I could deal with that. Um, and these safety pins are part of my stash, and I know I got them from Stampin' Up! years ago. Um, but again, part of my stash, so they're not around anymore. But I thought it was cute. On the back, I decided to add a little bit more of the paper to coincide with this over here, the cover of the pocket, as well as add some of that ribbon and a couple more of those enamel dots. So that just slides right in there. And the pockets are plenty large to fit the photo mats. Oops, come on. Okay. So on here I decided to leave space for a 4x6 photo down here. And I'm actually going to take a stamp and I'm going to put a photo stamp down here. But you also have enough space for a 3x3 three three square photo up here with some journaling space on the side. Now these stickers here as you can see, you saw them on my first one, also came from the sticker sheet that was part of the kit. Now here I left spaces for 3x4 photos, um, and they fit perfectly in here because I measured, I made sure. <laughs> they do fit perfectly in there, so I left some white space. Again, I'm going to stick, you know, a little like camera thing or, you know, picture here or something like that there so they know where to stick those photos. All right, turning the page. So on here, again, I decided to go again. Same of that lace thing, but I wanted to give another big giant border for them to work with. Um, so the photos would really pop on this page as well. Now these little paper, these little spirally paper clips here, um, those came as part of the kit as well. Alright, now this one's a little bit wide. It does open up twice, so opens up like this. Uh, these little brads came out of that same Stampin' Up! pack as well as the safety pins, but I thought they worked beautifully on here. I want to add another spot for a nice large photo with a white border this time. And then when I opened it up one more time, let's back into camera range here, I decided to add uh, the lace, lace trim on top of the Earl Espresso ribbon that was underneath it again, give it a little bit of a different dimensional look. But I wanted to add it at the top this time, um, again, to accent the photo, but not create all the focus on the embellishments, more of it on the photo. I left a large space open here for a nice large 6x6 photo, 5x7, a couple 4x4s, 3x4s, whatever you wanted to do in there um, so you can collage that. But I made sure that they all kind of coordinated together color-wise. So slide this back into camera range here. So I uh, made another photo mat here with a nice big bold border. I was into big bold borders apparently. Um, and I very much enjoyed this paper as well. I thought it all kind of worked back together again. Now this, uh, this is actually a sticker from the sticker sheet. Um, it says you'll know the true value of a moment if it becomes a memory, and so I thought that was wonderful for pictures. I mounted it on some white cardstock, then stuck it down on three sides so you can place the photo behind it. Um, and our last page here, I wanted to open a little bit differently, and I first added a couple of photo mats for three by fours. Um, and these are just slightly larger, so you do get a small border around your photos of white. And it opens up here, so you can either fit slide this over. You can either fit one 4x6 photo this direction, horizontally, or you can do it vertically. Um, so if you do it horizontally, you have another space down here where you can add 
journaling or notes or another three by four photo, depending how you want to work it, um, or it fits vertically. This little flower right here came out of the embellishments pack that came with the kit, and then I added just a basic rhinestone jewel on top. Um, this is a pocket page again. I'm telling you guys, I love the pocket pages for some reason with this album. Um, this is a sticker from the sticker sheet. Matted it on the back of some white cardstock, punched that out. It is also open down here so you can slide another photo here. It does th fit a 3x4 photo there as well. Um, so in here I did stick a couple of extra things. So I have my photo mat here that um, fits a beautiful thing. So you can fit 3x4 photos, 4x4, you can leave the rows open, whatever you want to do. Stickers came from a sticker sheet and you guys seen that ribbon before and I wanted it to correlate back to the ribbon there and so it all went together. And on the back, I left a nice large space for a 4x6 photo and then I added some banners just to give it a little bit of oomph to the page. Now these are actually some photo inserts from a Stampin' Up! Project Life um, cards, card pack, I believe they're called. Um, from Stampin' Up! and it's Watermelon Wonder and Blushing Bride and something else. But you can fit a photo down here as well as journal and on the back you've got plenty of journaling space. You can add another 4x6 photo on the back here. Um, so you can do whatever you want but it fit beautifully with the colors that were in the papers here so I thought it would go beautifully. This is also from that same car sack pack that the first one was from but it's got all these all this space to journal in and I thought it was just wonderful in case you wanted to write something or you could actually use it as a photo mat. Um, same thing with the back, it's just vertical instead of horizontal. But I thought it was gorgeous and it worked really well together. Let's go ahead and close that up and this is the last photo insert. So the first one I had um, the photo on the bottom with all of the embellishments on top, well this time I flipped it. So it fits a nice large 4x6 photo up there and turn it over. I did a horizontal photo on that side, I did a vertical photo on this side, and I just wanted to keep it kind of plain and simple and have the photo stand out as well. So that's that photo insert. And last page here. I went with a slightly different pocket page here and I wanted an open pocket so uh, it does open like this. So on the front you have that nice beautiful paper again. Keep it on with the theme here and on the inside you can place a photo the banners are open so you can tuck something behind there. And there is a large photo mat here that also would fit. I believe it's actually a 4 by 6 photo. It doesn't look quite that large but maybe it's 4 by 5 I don't remember. And in here you have photo mats to fit two 3 by photo, 3 by 4 photos on each. And it's going to cover up a little bit of the paper but that was the design and the intent. So I used a sticker as well as an enamel dot on here. And on the back it just uses some of the ribbon as well as um, some more of the paper for this one. It slides right in there. And on this one, again, I did basically the same design, but I just used two stickers and I layered them on top of each other. And on the back, I again used some different paper. So the front on here became the back on here, and the front on the other one became the back on the other one, on the first one. There we go. Um, so I added some ribbon, and again, another spot for a 3 by 4 photo as well. And, oops slides right in there. Nice big open pocket. You can make one giant um, photo mat. I just decided to break it up and make two smaller ones. Again, I left the back cover um, open and plain like I left the front cover in case they wanted to add a large photo here or make a collage of smaller photos. Um, but you can also always add a pocket down here to add some more photo mats in if you wish. And on the back I used the same paper as the front but I focused more on the Eiffel Tower. Um, instead of Big Ben, and I just thought it was beautiful. So that is my mini album today, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll look forward to seeing the next one. I'm going to make two almost the same style, but they're both going to be ringed. So this is Mel from Cardstock Concoctions. I hope you enjoyed, and come see me again next time. Thanks, everyone.